ahead of us, they're in no hurry. Something that we're, we're trying to do is to show people in the hustle and bustle that it is possible to be still um, and, and for us to, to pray to this God as we are still in the middle of this craziness. Yes, it's a prayer group, but one with a mission. Adrian Tam is 21. He says the location of their weekly get-together is no accident. I'm often in the city, um, and one of the things that I've noticed about Martin Place is that it's such a significant location. I mean, here you've got Channel 7, you've got um, high fashion, you've got Reserve Bank and everything, really. Um, and symbolically, it's such a significant place. And so we realise that for us to be able to stand literally in the middle of here um, and pray for the city is, is quite a powerful symbol. Dig a little deeper, and it turns out the prayer group is part of a much bigger subculture. Here at Kirk's Place in Sydney South, hundreds gather every week to sing the praises of God. Many are new to Australia and are struggling with their identity. As a teenager, you turn towards uh, different avenues, you turn towards um, this, you know, alcohol, drugs, all that kind of stuff that you turn towards just to try to find your identity. That was until Sam Mack turned instead to religion. He's exactly the type of person Steve Chong is chasing. Christ, your love is At just 33, Steve leads the flock, but in his own way. Where are the pews? Where are, you know, where's the cross? <laughs> and it's looking all pretty modern. We love that the church doesn't have uh, as, as many barriers. We want, we want young people to be able to just walk in and feel like, hey, this is kind of a normal building to walk into. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm Steve Chong. I'm the lead pastor here at Kirk Place. For Steve, that message of connection is so important. Right now, he thinks we spend too long connecting on here instead of out there. It's something I'm so passionate about. I feel like people, young people particularly these days, they are just, they're craving relationships. I mean, you just, you just see it. They're, they're, and they're hunched over on their, on their computers all night on Facebook. Why? Because they're craving relationship. Ironically, it's thanks to social media that his group has become so popular. Word spreads, this is a place to make friends. We've seen a lot of people with Asian backgrounds here today. Tell us what it means to have them involved. And so it's been great to see them come together uh, and find some sort of community and belonging like that. Uh, and, and for them to realise that there's a lot of similarities in the way we think, in the way we do stuff. But like other religions, that similarity in thinking means there are limits to how modern this church will get. What happens, for example, when some of his young recruits reveal they're gay? What we'll do is the same as with anyone who's struggling with any kind of sin. We would walk with them and we would uh, validate how they're feeling uh, and that kind of thing. And so I think we would just continue to, to move people towards living in the way that God wants them to. Which is between a man and a wife? Correct, yeah. Okay. Moral judgments aside, Adrian Tam and Steve Chong are determined to be the new faces of Christianity. They're repackaging an old message and making it cool. Where do you see the future of your church? The vision statement for Kirk Place is not just an Asian looking church, obviously. What God wants is a multicultural church for all nationalities and all demographics. And so we're kind of a, a small subculture of, of that big picture. My life, my Very interesting. Fundamentally, yeah. besides the religion, that is about helping new Australians assimilate yeah. and reaching out to people who are a little bit lost and are a little bit lonely. Which and is, and is wherever wonderful. you get it from, regardless of the religion, exactly. wherever you get it from, That's particularly right. this time of year. Yep. Uh, slightly ironic that they set up outside Channel 7, which is quite possibly the most unholy place <laughs> on earth, but it's, it's nice. It, you know, it's, it, it has a, a lot of Hillsong about it, yeah. Yeah. Um, that, that church, doesn't it? And I spent eight months doing a story on mm. Hillsong for Sunday night and asked Brian Houston, who's the leader, yes. did he feel that he was um, targeting vulnerable people? you know, and say it might be new migrants to, mm -hmm. to this country. And he said, I hope so. I hope that it is vulnerable people yeah. who, uh, you know, who mm. we can make feel as if they are mm. who part need a of the home community. And, and feel loved, and yeah. as you said, despite what religion you are, I mean, how can that be a bad thing for them if mm. they're yeah. happy and they're feeling like they are part of something? And this, is, this can be a particularly lonely time, this time of mm. year, so yeah. it's mm. nice. I think it would just shallow of you to be praying for better ratings today. <laughs>
than Andrew's <laughs> show yesterday. Yes, that was, that was slightly... Uh, that's yeah. the prank of the TV got. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and another good time to mention Carol's at Coogee tonight, that's by the way, if you're looking for exactly. some guidance in a family. That's <laughs> Simon will be singing. All right, now, uh, Jack and Jill went up the hill and somehow ended up in drag. One of Jono's <laughs> top... I never thought that was going to rhyme, movies? ever. Oh. Uh, top movies from Jono. He is here for you really? soon. <laughs> To know? Well, okay, suspend judgment. Okay. <laughs> but next, tormented by nature, a bush Christmas we really want you to see. It's the moment we've been waiting for. It's one of the greatest Bones episodes. You're fired. Bones, tonight, 8.30. Then. This will be our last case. How can he stay with her? It's not like he's leaving forever. You sure about that? Castle, tonight after Bones. Hurry in for Holden Dealers 2011 stock clearance right now with vehicles priced to clear. Get drive away deals and factory bonuses across a huge range of new 2011 plated cars. Drive away in the Commodore SV6 with SIDI direct injection, 210 kilowatts of power, 18 inch alloys, and a touchscreen Holden IQ system. All from just 35,490 drive away on SV6 manual demos. Hurry into your Holden dealer today for Holden Dealers 2011 stock clearance. Vehicles priced to clear. Holden, go better. Louis, we're killing you off forever. But I'm the face of Morteen. We've moved on from just flies. Morteen high performance surface spray. Nothing kills cockroaches faster. It stops roaches dead in their tracks. And protects on surfaces for up to six months. Goodbye, Louis. Time for a high performance exit. No! Only 250,000 will save him. Vote now at louisthefly.com.au. In this changing world, it's harder than ever to find something extraordinary. How's she gonna live if she can't swim? But every once in a while, a symbol of hope breaks through. I've never seen anything like it. Swim! Dolphin Tail, only in cinemas.